Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna get my first micro needling session done. And honestly, the only reason I'm doing it is because obviously I film on YouTube and stuff. And you, well, you can't see it on the iPhone camera, but when I film with my other camera, cause it's in HD, it really like brings out my pores and like all these red marks and stuff like that. And like my uneven texture of my skin. So I'm getting a uh, micro needling done to get rid of that. So let's get it. Cause bitch, I'm about to be late. Let's go. So I just got done at my first micro needling session and this is how my skin looks now because it's literally a needle that goes to your skin and basically she numbed it first and then she went through the needle thingy. But here is how I'm stupid because I accidentally had a little numbing cream right here and I licked it off and I didn't know it was numbing cream so now my tongue and like this side of my lip is literally numb. Um, but yeah, she gave me like this whole booklet thingy on instructions on how to like take care of my skin or whatever. So it should take about like five days to fully heal, hopefully for the redness to go away because bitch, I gotta go to work. Can't go to work looking like this. But um, here is a closer look. Period, poop. And so once again, basically why I got this whole thing done was because I make YouTube videos and I want to do more stuff on TV and stuff like that. So like I wanted to get rid of like all the acne scars and like I have a lot of dark spots, especially around my temples and on my cheeks. So I wanted to get rid of that. And yeah, and I paid for it with my own money, bitch. 350. I paid $350. Money! He got money. Get it all for him. And it was $50 for the kit, the aftercare kit, and then $300 for the procedure, I guess. Um, and yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna insert a few little clips of the procedure and how it went. So first they did the numbing thing. That's where my lip and my tongue got numb like an idiot. And then after she numbed my face, she went in with the needle and then that's when like it started bleeding a lot. And then here's a video of that. All right, now here are some pictures directly after the procedure. Honestly, I was really surprised because that looked hella bloody and really fucking disgusting and really gross, bitch. All right, and then here's some more after shots of after the procedure and after she cleaned my face. And honestly, I kind of, mm, it's kind of better than I thought it would be. Like I thought it would be worse. Like it's red, it's more darker here, darker there darker in like the problem areas and then the rest of my face is like lighter i think it's gonna get darker i don't know how it works i don't remember how it works bitch i forgot anyways yeah i'm gonna check back in every single day until it fully heals so let's get it bitch this is the worst lighting ever and i don't even care bitch so um i just want to show y'all an update on my face it is the same day that i got my thing so i noticed that i got darker right over here and right over here and then i also have like really well there's a light on it right oh okay right there there's a dark spot over there too so um if i didn't explain it before what basically this thing does is that it breaks needles into your face and then it builds like collagen or whatever and that is what makes the skin grow and that is what's going to help the texture and then also what's going to happen over the course of the next few days is that my skin is going to peel and then that will get rid of the acne scars so i'm excited for that part because that's the part that bothered me the most because in all my videos all you can see is a red mark on my fucking face and that bothered me so yeah that's just an update bitch i'll see you guys on day two bye bitch all right, so this is an update on day number two. This is how my face looks so far. Um, on my forehead and on my nose, I feel like it literally did lighten up. Um, but on my cheeks, it's darker here. And I'm not surprised because she did say she went in harder because those areas were more, I guess, like, they were just worse than my other areas um, in terms of scarring and like texture. So yeah, I'm not surprised that it's that darker. Um, but there's no pain i guess and she said it was gonna feel dry but i haven't been feeling dry at all either oh also i also wanted to do a little haul or whatever um not a haul bitch but like kind of like explaining like the aftercare so she gave me a whole aftercare kit and this is what it came in and let me show you what's inside bitch so the first thing that's in here is this cleansing thing um it's a daily gentle wash cleanse oh son of a bitch bitch <laughs> I broke it okay anyways 
So it's cool because all these bottles have this little twisty thing, which I think it's really cool. I don't know why. I'm just impressed by literally the bare minimum. But um, this is what it is. It's this gentle face wash. Okay, so basically for days two to four, I'm using this in the morning and the evening. I was going to say the PM, but who the f*** says the PM? Um, morning and the nighttime. And so I use this this morning and I'm going to have to use it before bed today. And then after you use the cleanser, you go in with this. It's called faz i don't know why uh, girl girl i didn't make this but it's basically hyaluronic acid i don't know what hyaluronic acid is but uh she told me to put it on my face so i'm gonna put it on my face um so yeah you put this you put a thin layer and then when it dries you go on to moisturizer so it's this moisturizer with coconut milk and it's called do it <laughs> do it <laughs> i don't know why i find that funny i'm such a loser Anyways, it's called Do It. Bitch, they're so f***ing cool. Look. Peekaboo. 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 Peekaboo, bitch. Um, anyways, yeah. So, I love this. Honestly, I wish I had this for, like, a daily, like, ritual. Not daily ritual. Like, a daily skincare thing because this is really good. Like, it's really hydrating or whatever. Um, yeah. So, AM, PM type shit. And then I haven't used this yet. It's the sunscreen um, because I haven't gone out. I literally called out of work for this. Um, the next time I'm in for work is on Wednesday. Today is Sunday. And by the time it should heal, it says that because I'm basically doing this whole process, the skincare process for the next two to four days. Today is day two. So I should be done with all this on Friday. No, bitch, that made no sense on Tuesday. Um, and then Wednesday, my skin should be clear. Hopefully it is because um, I got to go to work with the red face, bitch. I don't Bitch, I look like I got a disease. I look like I got beat up. Girl, bitch. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is an update on day number two. This is how I look. And we'll see you in day number three. Deuces. All right, so it's the morning of day four, and this is how my skin looks. I literally just woke up, and it's starting to peel like a lot. Like, bitch, a lot, a lot. Kind of gross. Because it's like literally all in my hair, too. Like the skin that I just peeled off and went in my hair. <laughs> Love that. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks. Gross. And the redness has kind of gone down. Like, yeah, I feel like it's gone down. Like on this area, like it kind of peeled off. And this one, it's like, it's, I mean, it's still red. Ew, okay. That's not cute. That's not a cute angle. But yeah, the redness has started to go down and it's just peeling. So lit. <laughs> Okay, so I forgot to vlog day five. So here's some pictures and cute little videos or whatever. Um, so now I'm on day six and yesterday I stopped using all the medication stuff that they gave me and I've just been using, you're supposed to go back to your regular routine, but I don't really have routine at the moment just because I want to chill on all the products. I'm also out of breath because I ran up the stairs to go to this room for the good lighting. But yeah, um, this is how my skin looks so far. It's still kind of reddish. Um, so these marks right here, I didn't have that before. That was from the needling thing, so I'm hoping that goes away. Um, or else, bitch, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I'm gonna have to go back or some shit. But I'm still debating if I need more sessions. She said I might need one more session, and I feel like I do to get rid of this mark because this is the main one that was bothering me because it's like the deepest acne scar that I have. Um, but yeah, overall, I feel like it looks cool. Like, my skin is actually glowing, and I look bomb. Bitch, I look cute. I look cute. Um, honestly, I'm debating if I should vlog some more because there isn't really much to show because it's going to be healing for four to six weeks and I'm not going to be vlogging for that long because I don't, bitch, what the fuck I look like? I got shit to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, it kind of looks better overall, like, right now. Like, it's still healing or whatever, but it's still clear and I'm glowing. Bitch, I look cute. I look... <sighs> bitch, I'm that bitch. Period. Okay, that is not a cute angle. Oh, mm. Good angle. You know what? I think I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching this video on my microneedling experience and how it's been for me so far. Um, I'm gonna leave a video clip right now of the beginning to where it is now so you can see the transformation, so you can see the transition, bitch. So let's get it. Deuces, I'll see you in my next video, bitch. Bye.